Select your character. Alright, welcome back to Friday, Friday, Friday. Wait, really? This is the last episode of the week, mate. Fucking hell. We are blazing through these. At least I think it is. It might not be. It might be. It might not be. We'll find out after we finish this episode. Yeah. Setting the timer and everything. So this is like... I, as I was already explaining to you before, like I'm just so excited to play this game again, man. I have not... Normally, um, I sit down and play it on the 64 at least once every year. Yeah. I haven't played it in about three years. Oh. Only because I haven't been able to set up my 64 because I don't have a CRT. And I refuse to play this game on a plasma screen to LCD, he says, as he plays it on a computer monitor. Which, you know, fucking bit of an oxymoron there. Is that an oxymoron? No, I meant like you're an oxygenated moron. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for explaining my own joke. Yeah. I'd get oh, some... I picked up some grenade yeah, cause rounds. Because I, I can pick up a grenade launcher if I play my cards grenade correctly. Grenade rounds. Yeah, grenade launcher. Get it? You know, they have grenade rounds. Wouldn't it just be grenades? No. I think the grenades that come out of a grenade launcher are actually a little bit off. different than an actual grenade. Grenades, normally you'd have to pull the pin, whereas I think um, with grenade launching, it's more like a prime, so it hits and then explodes. It primes it, kind of like a mortar, I guess. And maybe it pulls the pin out when you uh, shoot the missile. Uh, well, I don't know. When I ever see it, fucking stop doing that, Jared. What's in here? Hey, what, what is in there? Oh, oh. Barrels. You fucker. Scared the shit out of me. Fucking Sub-Zero comes out and he's fucking... Get over here. That's Scorpion. I know, but I was still trying to make the reference. The one thing I love about this level, people just come out of fucking nowhere. It's yeah, hilarious. they're fucking, they just pop up fucking... Hey, look, it's the worst gun, gun, uh, gun in any single game. The Clob. I didn't mind it. It's a shit gun, man. You get d dual will and clubs. You can do that, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, see? See so what's ready? What was the best gun in this game besides the golden gun, obviously? Um, Maybe the Moonraker pistol? I was about to say the Moonraker, the, the laser one. That was the laser one, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. That because was that had in Jesus, that was a big key, wasn't it? That was, yeah, fucking... I'd oh, it actually calls it a large key, a too. A large key, yeah. See, look, nice. grenade launcher. Grenade Told launcher. you if I played my cards correctly, I'd get a grenade launcher. Well, what did you win? Uh, no, I just got in there quickly enough, I think. Look at uh, this. Oh, someone's shooting me with a silence. Um, One of them. Oh, pff, good shot. Did he just... <laughs> yeah, he died. Fucking so, died. He was uh, shooting me with a sniper rifle. And then he decided that, oh shit, the explosion, it's really close to me, but not too close that it's... Uh, what's my objective again besides dicking around? Um, scaring me to death. So I need to power down communication disc to obtain the safe key, still building plans, enter via the ventilation tower. Via the ventilation shaft. So uh, in the movie, mate, you actually never really go to Sevenaya. So the game's not true to the movie, um, which is fine. I mean, I don't mind. It's got to add stuff in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of, uh, like, dam and all that's in it and facilities in it. Runaway's kind of in it for, like, five seconds. Um, Seven Naya is, but Seven Naya gets destroyed by the Golden Eye weapon. Yeah. Actually, Runaway is very, sh like... It's supposed to be pretty short. It's not supposed to be fucking long. It's it, it's just a tack on end bit for the other level, yeah. really. It's what we like to call in a game extender. You know what I feel about those? Yeah, but at the same time, it shouldn't be its own separate level. It should just be... Attack on, it should have been just on the end of... Yeah, but it might have been like that it was too hard for them to load up that area as well as the other area. Well, you do only have a finite amount of disk space on a probably level, so... You know what I mean? Like, it's probably easier to do it as a separate level. Yeah, you're right. I fucking shot that gun out of the air too. Oh, that's right. You could shoot the gun, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, yeah, you could shoot the guns. Because I, I liked um, Perfect Dark as well. I tried I tried that on the fucking um, Rare Collection. It was weird. It's, it's pretty much not much different than this game, man. But it's like weird to like go and play it on an Xbox controller. Now you, as, know, my, you know my pain right now. Oh, it's, it's fucking... You know my pain from fucking Conkers. Shit, good point. Well made. It's hard to translate, you know, what was supposed to be on one stick to two. Yeah. Because... Uh, it, it's supposed to move in a certain way. And if you put it on two sticks, it doesn't move that way properly. Yeah. 
So, I mean, I tried setting it up so I could strafe with the left stick and look up and down with the right stick. So instead of looking left and right here with the left stick, I'd strafe and then yep. to look right, left and right with that. It just didn't translate very well. Yeah. So. I mean, nowadays you can get like game settings where it does do that. It's like legacy, I think they call it. Where it, I think, yeah, legacy. Is it actually what the, what it's called? I, I think in COD they did it. It was called Legacy. I think Haley did it for something similar. Um, where that sort of uh, controller setup was, you know, because it was a throwback to the old days. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with, with two sticks. There he is. Very fucking difficult. Where are you going? Oh, hello. There you are. Dun, 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 where did you come from? Where did you go? Where, where did you, you come, come from? from? Cutting Cutting Joe. Oh, he had an actual hand grenade. And some ammo. Some ammo. <laughs> Found some ammo. It's that, because, you know, back then you only had a limited amount of space on the disc, man. Um, all ammo fits everything. Uh, no, it doesn't, but... Well, you know. According to that, it does. I think I did the right thing. It's putting it on, um... On Secret Agent. Secret Agent, man! Because I'm doing better now. Double oh, yeah. O Agent's really fucking hard. You, uh, you didn't want to pick up the guy's hat? Unfortunately, you can't. You can shoot it, but you can't pick it up. It sucks. It'd be nice if you put it on and be like, hey, I'm one of you. Walk through and people are like, oh, he's all right. Don't worry about that guy that looks like James Bond, but with the hat on. Is there well, a fuck? Speaking there's of, a like, changing sure. outfits and shit, the, the Hitman game? Yep. It's got a thing, like, with the changing outfits again. Fuck! What? Set off the alarm. Oh, poop. Um, As I said, I knew there was a camera there, but I was just trying to find it. Did you oh, there it is. Piece of shit. Now they're all going to come fucking run at me. Um, yeah, it's got, like, the whole changing outfits and stuff. Yep. But now, like, you can change into an outfit of, say, a security guard, and not all security guards are going to notice you. Like, oh. it'll be, like, only some security guards will notice you, like the ones that are probably higher-ups. So it's, 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 I guess, a little bit better in that respect. What am I doing? Because I think in Absolution, if you change, like, if you were too close to other people of that same costume, they'd be like, hey, wait a sec. Yeah. Where Absolution is... was pretty shit about it. Like, it was like, you, uh, look, I get that, you know, they probably have a a list of people they would know, but, like, every guard you walk past would notice you and you'd have to waste your bloody, your superhuman meter. Yeah. Well, they've got that superhuman, like, uh, instinct thing, but it doesn't have a meter and it doesn't hide you. What's this guy doing over here? Look you at him. You know what I mean? Look at him. I can't see him. Ah, it's, yeah, you're right. Because you fucking got shitty eyes. This guy right here. Look at him. Where? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I see him now. Fucking, he's wrecked now. <laughs> yeah, so it uh, it does the instinct thing, but it doesn't actually hide you. It's just sort of so that you can see through walls to, like, see where your target is. You're like, okay, is he's it, well, is it that direction. worth using, or? Oh, I remember what the big key's for now. I'm just trying to remember what I was supposed to do. It's a big door. Right? Yeah. Ah, uh, no. Remember that door I tried to walk into last time and it was locked? You fucking sniping cunts. I can't wait. Fucking serpentine, mate. Eh? Serpentine. I've already died. You're just a funeral I've been waiting for. See, their album's coming out this year. You, you met Lika? Yeah. Fucking, they said, oh, it's coming out this year. I'm like, woohoo. See, actually, this is the first recording we've done since the old prince died. Yeah. A bit fucking... sad, isn't it? Now in heaven, you've got a king, you've got a queen, you've got a prince, and don't forget the Joker. And don't forget the Joker. And and now we know that this is what it sounds like when doves cry. It's a bit sad, really. But uh, at least there's no more purple rain. You are right? <laughs> Any more? No, that's all I've been able to come up with. Those are actually my own, too. I, I didn't steal them off anything. I just had to come up with them. So I'm pretty proud of those, too. <laughs> Yeah, the funny thing was he like never really had any sex sexual scandals. He never really um got to caught doing. I mean, he obviously probably did drugs, but I he don't stole Nikki Six's girlfriend. Did he? Yeah, that, um Denise Vanity. There it is. Um, and they're like all these all these issues, right? That people seem to get around with. And Prince really never had a lot of issues. I mean, like he went batshit crazy for a little bit there, but you know the artist formerly known as Prince. Yep. But you know that was just a symbol. And, you know, it was pretty harmless. He didn't go too crazy, as far as I remember. Do you miss him? Well, I wasn't a huge Prince fan. 
But like, if you do miss him, just get a picture of Rihanna and put a, a mustache on him. Oh no, I've seen that picture. <laughs> then you've got Prince again. See, I was never not a huge fan of Prince, so oh, I respected his talent. Yeah, it's it goes along with a lot of music, but it's unfortunate. It was the same thing. Like the same first recording since China died. Oh yeah, fucking. We now haven't really only, we haven't really seen each other for a while. Now there's only seven wonders of the world. <laughs> Well, there was only originally seventh one. Wasn't she the seventh wonder of the no, world? No, she was the ninth because Andre <coughs> the Giant was the eighth. Uh, she was the seventh one, uh, the the ninth wonder of the world, China. First woman to ever be intercontinental, intercontinental champion. The first and only woman to ever be continental intercontinental champion. There hasn't been one since. And see that uh, that whole thing with Jeff Jarrett um, ended up causing Jeff Jarrett to get a lot of money out of uh, Vince. For what? When he dropped the title to China. Oh really? Yeah, because uh, he didn't. Uh, his contract was expiring the day before the pay per view, mm -hmm. and he said to Vince, "Well, I'll do it, but uh, I want you to give me double the money." <laughs> so yeah, he did not leave on good terms with Vince, and not many people that leave WWE leave on good terms with Vince. No, not at all. Not Unless you like Stone Cold. Oh, and even he, he then, didn't leave on good terms the first time, though. Oh, no, absolutely not. But he came back and Vince fucking rubbed his little money, grubby hands together and went fucking money's back. They even talk about it that in the podcast. The the, the now infamous podcast with with, uh, with Stone Cold and Vince. Yeah. It's basically when Vince said that no one, uh, like Cesaro's not going to get a big push because no one can connect to him because he's Swedish. Or Swiss. Swiss. He's the Swiss Superman. He's yeah. getting over now, though. People are starting to like him in uh, the creative team. Yeah. He's like, they're going to push him for what title? The IC. And who's he going against? Miz. That's it. Fucking scrub. Lord. Miz, Lord. And yeah, <sighs> M Miz is going downhill fast. All right, ready? Whee! That's the end of that level. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> fucking righto. <laughs> you right there, mate? Yeah, I was just fucking looking at him going, did it in, did it in, jump it down. Pretty sure that's the last episode for the week. Um, I reckon we did well. Went, got through four missions. We did. We worked um, cooperatively together to get through this as a team. And uh, we'll and see I. you next week where I'll continue playing Goldeneye. And he will also continue playing Goldeneye. Thank you for repeating everything I'm saying. If you like our content, please feel free to click that like button and uh, leave us a comment below. Tell us your experience with powering down communication dishes. Bye. I hope my mouse wasn't on the screen the entire time. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> ah, well. Ah, well, shit happens, right? Assholes cause it. I mean, look at you. Hmm.